start recording. Cool. Okay, nice. Um, uh, I know this, it was, it was a while back, but yeah, I guess since playing, have you, uh, I guess what have you been doing with Marth, if you've been doing anything? Um, I haven't been playing, I mean, I've been a little more lost against Marth, at least at the edge. I thought, I think... Uh, my game against Marth is actually pretty good. I, I have a lot of time against Marth. I just, in this set, I feel like I lose the exact same way three times in a row. Mm. <laughs> um, so, like, I'm pretty sure I keep it close. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to see what needs to change. But I did go into this set with the mindset of, like, trying to, like, really, like, use dash the dash back aggressively rather than defensively. Yeah. So uh, we'll see, we'll see how you feel. I'm yeah, I'm still a little lost in this matchup. I think even though I've played it so much, at least good Marth players really give me trouble at the ledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They really give me trouble. Like uh, I, there's only a, there's a certain level of Marth player that I really struggle to edge guard. The as soon as they hit the level where they're like consistently saving their jump and like have the ledge like the ledge recovery mix up, then I really start to tr struggle. Yeah. Marth on the ledge is very hard to deal with, and also finicky. It's funny because I don't even feel like I'm that bad at dealing with him. It's just, like, the Marth players that actually, like, challenge that, or, like, play that makes a... There's a certain... I don't feel like that do, That doesn't happen until a certain level. I agree. I, I definitely agree. But the better Marths get, the more they'll, like, make you work for it. So. Yeah, exactly. Like, and I'll, I'm, there are just moments where I think I, like, I'll go for a Marth killer, and Umar, for example, will know, oh, hey, he's going for a Marth killer, so I'm just gonna, like, sweet spot. And then I have to, like, be ready to do Marth killer 2 or whatever, the one where you put up the shield uh, as the hitbox is coming out. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I, I, I don't do that yet. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Honestly, I mean, I think the Marth Killer 2.0 has like specific situations where it's useful. But honestly, I think there might be more things. No, I'm sure there Definitely. are. Definitely. Uh, okay. Let me. I don't know if I'm already streaming. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool. Okay, we could just get right into it. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Nice. Um. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Should not have dashed into the corner, huh? Like that, or with the JC grab into the corner is kind of bad. I think the idea to JC grab is pretty good, but I think one of the, the important parts of, like, Marth being in the corner, more so than, like, specific move option, it's about timing. And so, right. I think, like, um, say, for example, when we talk about, like, Marth in center stage, you know, it's all kind of, like, based around, like, the timings of when Marth would be doing his actions. And then because he did a thing, he now has, like, a lapse of, like, ability to have a hitbox out or like pressure or something like that it's like oh he has to defend himself but now in the corner he doesn't have those like ways to defend himself and so now it really just ends up being like you see the thing you go in at the timing you know yeah and so i think here by you doing the stash chance you baited him into being like "Ooh, i want to like do a thing you know and so he fared from ledge and then i think like best case scenario is you would realize that, and then on this dash, you just run in and grab. I just, so I, I played the, I, I had a good idea, I just played the wrong beat. Yeah, you just went a bit okay. too late. Okay, that makes sense. And this is what we talked about earlier, where, like, if I skip a beat on some of my decisions, all of a sudden they're actually okay decisions. Mm hmm Okay. And that we talked about that back air, but I, that back the first back air was bad. The first full, this back air was bad. Yeah, right. Yeah, I do think 
the platform made it less bad because it's weird, you know. But like, still, the full hop back air is just kind of. I I got really lucky and I happened to whiff. I happened to catch him whiffing grab with up tilt. Yeah. But like the uh, back air. If if I had just stayed in place and up tilted, would it the up tilt been good? Yeah, I mean, I think. Well, the thing is, up tilt isn't. If you empty land here, the up tilt's fine because that means it's fast enough to like catch the Marth hitting the grab. Right. I need so I need to replace those full hop back. If I replace those full hop back airs with more like just empty land, check what Marth is doing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you can't really run off shine there. Yeah, I, I, I you can only run off shine if they're below stage here, right? Yeah, it's whether he was below stage, but like. He has to be like here if you're gonna run off shine, but you, you run off shine he's when he's gonna, down here. He's gonna. You have to know he's gonna up B to that specific spot, right? Uh, honestly, I don't really try and run off up B that much. Like what I would do instead of run off shining is if I wanted, if I knew he's gonna up B, which you did know, then instead of doing run off, I'd like full hop now. I'd full, full hop, hop over and then try and like no fast fall shine the back of his up B. Oh, the back. Okay, that makes sense. And strategy. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe there's because I'm like, the, yeah, the risk reward here isn't 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 it, it. But if I do it on stage, it's it. It's just like it's not. Even, I guess risk reward could be a part of it, but it's mostly about like the shine hitting. <laughs> like if you jump, you will not get hit by upbeat, and your shine can hit because you're avoiding the hitbox. But when you're doing runoff shine, there's no timing where like. You can yeah. get your body into this zone right here and also not get hit by upbeat and hit shine, you know? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Ooh, bad scramble. The narrow is fine, but I think being paying a bit more attention to the spacing you end up after you cross up is important. I, I am too far away for that narrow to, for that shine to confirm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's like you could do like nair up tilt, you could do nair dash back nair, nair bear. Nair dash back grab. Yeah, like just kind of do the something. Yeah, the the shine, yeah, I'm super out of position for because even if the shine connects, I have to do wave shine, dash wave shine back, dash back grab, which is Yeah. Like, and it's like hard. you'd also be doing that as a read. <laughs> yeah, because like yeah, that isn't even a real yeah, you're right. Yeah, it, like, yeah. This doesn't make sense, right? Okay. Yeah. I think shining is fine sometimes though. It just needs to hit, and then you have to do pressure instead of like going for a combo. Nice. Oh, bad nair. Bad. This is too too far, too high, right? Too far, too high. Not even about too far, because the nair made sense why you did it. Because you you know you saw that he like was in the air, and you're like, oh well, I might be able to catch him before it falls. But like, no, but he was already on the. Yeah, you just misjudged the timing, yeah. and so like, but yeah, mainly the full hop is bad just because you misjudged the situation. Yeah. But imagine if you're like dash dancing here, and then like whiff punish this timing with like a run up grabber running shine, and then it'd be like, oh yeah, For but sure. like you had the right idea. Yeah, I just have to whiff punish with a better, better base place move. Yeah, it's a, it's mostly about like, you can sometimes do full hops in positions like this, but it's about the time. <laughs> and slow hop for or full hops are slower, and so it's like right. if you're tight on time. I'd probably lean against full hopping, just because it takes a long time. Yeah. So instead, and so instead from this, would, if I had done run grab, dash grab, dash grab here. Yeah. Dash grab, running shine. Dash up tilt or run cancel up tilt. Something like that. Uh, well, you'd be doing it to whiff punish this fair. You wouldn't be trying to hit him up the air. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So we're just trying. To, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Because that's kind of a panic aerial in some sense. Yeah, right? he, he is in a horrible position, yeah. and he's like, I have to defend myself. Shit. So I'm going to do a panic aerial. But that puts him in lag, and I didn't really properly put myself in the right good place to punish that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, bad nair. Yeah, these, this, I'm too far away. Like, he's very clearly in, like, yeah, already jumping, already can connect fair. Yeah. Yeah, I think the... I feel like... You were like, oh, what if he jumps? So you nared, but yeah, I think you have to do it differently if you want to cover everything. Like, if you actually want to just hit him jumping from the spacing, you have to dash to here and then do like a frame one nair. Oh, frame one nair. Okay. Yeah, but, but that's you, like hard. 
What if I do like run shield? Ah, uh, I think I wouldn't want to do run shield because this is like preemptive. If you're like already dash dancing and then you're like you like ended up running forward and then you realize that he's jumping, run shield's fine. But like if yeah, you're not in position to do that. Yeah, it's like if you're just like I think Martha's gonna jump Martha's gonna jump and I'm gonna read it. I'd rather try and nair him out the air, you know? Why shield when you could hit him there? Might as well get a juicy ass, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean yeah, the main but thing I is you have to dash ball. further. Yeah, dash okay. Because sure. you dash to right here and you need to be right here when you so jump. I, so I would have needed to like maybe dash again or something. Just I mean just dash forward. Just dash okay. forward then jump later. For sure. Dash a little farther forward. Okay. Especially if you're trying to be like if you're trying to whiff punish the short hop fair range. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you want to be close enough to where there aren't drift. Like, there's no, drift doesn't do anything. You want to be so close that he just gets hit. Is kind of greedy. Yeah, that's fine. He was not playing run ledge well. Bad bear. Uh, I, I think grabbing ledge is fine, but you should hold ledge and let him fall past it here. Oh, uh, okay. So I need to hold like a, a little bit long. I, I'm a little, a little antsy here then. Yeah, you. I think you saw that he side beat and was like, oh, maybe I'll catch him before he could like fall to ledge. But it's like that's not really how it works. No. I think the the ways to play out the situation are you either stay on stage and read side B and then short hop off, shine it. Yeah. Or you grab ledge on reaction to the side B and then let Marth fall past and then refresh with like a double jump, you know, or shine so it. I, this, yeah, this one was yeah too early. Here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a very greedy up swing. Nice. Oh, double jump up there. Uh, I don't think you need to Marth Killer here. Honestly, he's so far away without a jump. I would prefer just to grab ledge. Okay. Just because it's like, there is none of this that could ever happen. Yeah. And then if he goes on stage anyways, you'll just get the up air. Or he'll like, you know, he, you know you'll up air when he dies. Or he'll up be too low to make it onto the stage. You know? For sure. That makes sense. Yeah, I, the Marth Killer is at a specific, as at a close panic up B range, right? Mm -hmm. I also think percent wise, um, ah, it doesn't matter. But yeah, it's it's about the up B spacing. So if he's close, yeah, spacing, it's fun. It? Mm, that was greedy, wasn't it? Yeah, I was like, hey, I I hit the ledge dash. I'm gonna try to do something again, but he's very clearly walking away. Yeah, I think. The full hop, honestly, was fine, but I think you thought that you might have been able to hit him. I should just full hop away here, huh? Yeah, I mean, you could just, like, double jump, or you could just, like, drift back and empty land, like, right here. We, we talked about this uh, earlier, right, where I need some, need to, sometimes I need to just do full hop, empty land, and check what Marth does. Yeah. And it's also the, the thing about empty land that makes it good is that it's faster than doing an aerial. So you could empty land and actually have time to do a move before Marth can hit you. Does. This is faster than aerial. Faster than aerial. And gives you actual visual time to confirm. Yeah. And I get. Uh, I think one thing about full hop in this matchup is you can't really ever hit anything Marth does with full hop unless you're doing it super preemptively, specifically to hit it. And so Marth here, does. I think you, you full hopped as he was daring, and it's like, this isn't preemptive enough to ever with punish it, you know? Yeah doing it and that's why it's kind of bad to like full hop like to approach marth with a full hop in that sense 
Yeah, yeah. It's like, I think approaching one with full harp is fine. I think the main thing is using full harp as like a whiff punish tool. That yeah. ends up being a bit more Bad, like yeah. sus. Because like Marth can just like, if Marth is, catches on to it, all of a sudden he can shark you for it. Right? Yeah. Yeah, he can and just you hit you can't for it. Really, you can't really hit him for it. So like, why play that risk reward ever? And, unless you're just trying to get away. Yeah. Like, okay. I think there are times when you do full hop, and it's good, but, again, it just needs to be so preemptive yeah, relative. Preemptive. It has to be, like, a, an actual read. Yeah, you can't just full hop and then, like, yeah. see that Marth is below you and then do something. You have to be, yeah. like, I'm full hopping super early, I and then Marth, Marth will be gonna, below me. <laughs> I think Marth is going to fade forward and fair here. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. You can't ever, like, realize that Marth is mid-action under your full hop and then hit him. He, it just doesn't work it that way. It never works. Like, he, I mean, the, he can shark you, he can dash back, he can dash forward. It just doesn't work, yeah. He can get out the way, and yeah. other characters cannot do that because they don't have Marth dash back. Yeah. And that laser's bad. There. Ooh, bad scramble though. So the scrambles have been bad, right? Overall so far. Yeah, I feel like Marth landing has been something that you've struggled with. Just and focus on keeping Marth in the air. It's not about keeping Marth in the air, it's more like knowing when Marth has to land. Marth has to Because on. in these spots, all the spots that have come up aren't spots where you can get under Marth and hit him back up. But they are spots where Marth has to fall and land on the ground. And so then you could either whiff punish him or pressure his landing, you know? But you have to do that. You can't hit him directly. You have to, like, whiff punish or pressure. These are the moments where you have to whiff punish pressure. Whiff punishing in melee is so weird because in some matchup it's some matchups it feels like it's straight up fake, and in others it's, like, quintessential. Yep, uh, I mean, I, I agree. Like... <laughs> Falco and Peach, you can't whiff punish them, really. No. You can kind of whiff punish Falco, but, like, the threat of Spock Dog Shine makes it so that it's not... You're asking to get reversals if you try to directly whiff punish. Yeah. Focus on knowing when Marth has to land. The spots are coming up where Marth has to land. These are the moments where I need to tech chase or whiff punish. With Punisher pressure, not tech no, chase. With, punish, with Punisher pressure. Yeah, yeah. Tech chasing isn't going to come up. With punish or pressure. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, in this spot specifically, after this up air, it's like, ooh, Marth got popped up and it didn't true combo. I'm thinking, okay, Marth probably is just going to fall to the ground. And so I'm like, let me dash away to start a dash dance to set up to get a good run-in timing on this fair. But instead I dash, I wave dash forward and I don't get it. But if I had dashed away and then, or dashed away and then dashed forward, I would have set up for like an air or something. Right? Yeah. Dash it's like, away? Okay, yeah. you don't have time to hit him directly here. Apply. It's just not possible. So I gotta apply the, the aggressive dash back to whip punish thing we talked about before, right? Yeah, kind of. I think, uh, I think it ends up being similar with punish in these situ with punish or pressure in these certain is in these situations yeah that makes sense yeah yeah the, the important parts are you will have to see or pay attention to times when you do not have enough frames to directly hit the mark before you could do a move and then if you can't directly hit him then that means you have to pressure but you know he's gonna do a move and so that's why i say dash back here to set up a whiff punisher pressure instead of trying to hit him directly because you just don't have time. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Smash wasn't hitting any day of the week. Yeah, you had to realize that he he jumped. He's going to do the wiggle. The good Marth players do the thing out of running shine where they jump and then wiggle out or dash away, right? Yeah. How do you beat that? Running shine just lo straight up loses to that, right? Well, it's not even that. They're not jumping into it intentionally. It's just like 
you of running shine at a timing where they end up jumping and you just have to play the mix up like you didn't mean this like you didn't mean to jump into a shine he was just jumping because you hit a shield and so then you have to realize that he jumped into the shine and instead of going for a combo you play a mix up right. and it's like marth could defend himself by doing a moving place here like he could try and grab you directly he could dash back and it's probably in your best interest to like do some sort of dash chance here and then pick a yeah. timing. Just change my timing a little bit, even because even this is another case where even though I found a hit, it's not necessarily meaningful. Yeah. Well, it is meaningful because you get an advantageous mix up. Not, it is just no, not a direct combo. Yeah, it's not a direct. It's a meaningful hit, but not a direct combo. Okay, so uh, recognize you have a meaningful. Hit, but not a direct combo, and what mix up needs to be played after. Yeah. And that's kind of applicable to every matchup, right? Yeah. Definitely. Ledge dash. Go high? No. I should have gone high for sure. Nice. Uh, do go high that time. I didn't realize I didn't have enough time to grab ledge here, so I just back go. Yeah. I think you actually could have gone the ledge. the ledge. Right? I don't think it's about fast falling. It's not about getting to the ledge first. It's about if you full hop and drift all the way back, you can get behind the up B and steal the oh, ledge like from him. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I feel for sure. Because yeah. he's, he's at an angle where he has to ride the wall, right? Yeah, he'll have to ride the wall. Okay. And if you get behind the upbeat, he's not going to hit you because all the upbeat hitbox is here, you know? Not back here. Makes sense. And now I sh I'm just, like, fighting in the center. But, like, even then, this is... I'm in his death zone, right? Like, I sh should... I, I, don't, I just... I'm so afraid of fighting him in the corner, man. He's, all, he's shown me. like, You know what I mean? But, like, at the same time, it's hard for me to feel like... I feel like I should pressure him in the corner. Am I too far away is my question here. Because we've talked about this before, where, like, this is Marth's entire threat range or whatever. Well, I think, obviously, threat ranges are on the table, but you have to think, like, you have to take context into account. He's on ledge. He whiffed a grab. You're in center stage dashing towards him. Like, that's pretty scary. He doesn't want to just throw out a move, because if he's wrong, he dies, because he's in the corner. And even if you don't hit him directly... Where's he gonna fucking go? He can't escape, yeah. right? That's kind of like you have to take context into account, and so that's why like Marth in the corner gets pressured. It's because Marth is incentivized to not like do moves. He does not yeah. want to do moves because he can't escape, and he might get hit. And if he gets hit, it's one of the worst possible ways to get hit. Then what about the Marth players who have a tendency to like want to be there and like fish for that reversal at the ledge? Do and I just try to like coerce them into fighting in center every time? Uh, I think coercing them into fighting in center is a good idea, and you could also just, like, cover the space. Like, all you really have to do is dash dance back here every now and then, maybe act like you're dashing forward, do a drill here, full hop in place, right? Yeah. Just you don't have like, to, like... You don't have to actually threaten. You can threaten them without putting yourself at risk. Yeah. I guess. Okay, for sure. Because, like, I feel like I... 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 I the, the week I beat Musco Man at Guildhouse, I played Typhoon, and he figured out that he could just down throw, down tilt me. Mm -hmm. And, like, I just need to play that, like, the coercion. Like, I need to stay disciplined and, and like, threaten. Like, would you say, like, similar to Falco, where you can just kind of, like, threaten the distance of the inner lip of the platform? Or, like... When Marth is in the corner, yes. When Marth is in the corner, the inner lip of the... So, like, similar to Falco, air, air, air. Yeah, I mean, it's mostly, like, anyone in the corner. Because okay. people just suck in the corner. They can't get yeah. out, right? Yeah. Um, play the inner lip of the platform. Like we talked about with Falco. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, thank you. Yeah, because I'm trying to not lose to the down throw, down tilt D marks. Yeah, no, that is very undesirable. The, the information check DI mix up once. Mm -hmm. yeah. That up smash was I, I need to good. remember that. Yeah, this up smash, this this shine I should recognize every day of the week that he's sliding off, right? Yeah, he just has no option. Be like, hey, <laughs> it's time for me to reset and go to, or like, hold the, the, the lip of the platform here. Yeah. This is a perfect example of what we just talked about, right? Or like, yeah. it's uncomfortable for me to interact there, but... 
If I even JCF Smash wouldn't have connected there. What I don't know why. What do I do instead of the dash attack Nair maybe? Uh not here. The first dash attack. Oh okay, let me see. Right here. Like this dash attack connects now. Yeah, probably just dash attack Nair. Nair. Yeah, like full drift forward Nair. Yeah. Okay. Uh it seems like you got a bit confused. Yeah. Not antsy. You just like did a random shield, and I think I think you should be more willing to throw out hitboxes versus Marth in the corner. But this is the zone where you get to do it. Willing to hit Martha. Throw. Be more willing to throw out hitboxes. Throw out hitboxes in the corner once you have Marth in the pressure zone. Yeah. Uh, in the corner once you have Marth in the zone near the inner lip yeah it's it's not like say falco where you can get away with just back airing jumping up back airing falling back airing jump bullshit but like you, you can't get away with walling pressure like, yeah you have to pick a move here sometimes and then dash out or something walling pressure the diff yeah pressure you have to pick a move sometimes and dash out yeah it's like you get you get it you try your read if it doesn't work you go back and pressure from center stage, then move back into that spot. The difference between Marth and Falco in the corner. Marth and Falco in the corner is that you can't get away with walling pressure. You have to pick a move and sometimes dash out. Okay. That makes perfect sense to me. Because then you're... And then that's how what really lets you play this with Punishy game or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. I'm running away, but and then I is this okay? So like I choose laser, and then I'm like I'm gonna throw a move out, and then here I should be dashing. Out. No, I mean I whiff right in front of him, but luckily he like jumps, so it doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, right. I don't think this drill was that good though. Yeah. I kind of feel like if you did a drill with the intention of hitting and moving forward, and he moved forward and it didn't hit, then that means that there's probably yeah, something yeah. wrong with it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That makes sense. Like, I don't think the idea of drilling here is necessarily the worst, but with Marth being in the corner, I am more willing to actually try and push something. Because you... even if the drill confirms, right? Like we get we get another slide off shine, right? <laughs> yeah. You can yeah. drill grab, but yeah, it's supposed to be that. Yeah. I think uh, the platform makes it weird, but I would worry about either running shining all the way to right here. Like I'd go all the way into the corner or yeah, the I would stay right here. Just like, and wait, just like not even laser, just like dash dance. Yeah, place. just like dash dance or something. Yeah, or full hop in place. I have this bad habit of being like, oh, I'm at a bajillion percent and I'm away from Mark. Let me shoot a laser. I mean, I think it's good. I think lasering and making, like playing annoying is good. But, um... But it's you like can't like approach. <laughs> you yeah, you have to commit. You know. Is this the thing where we talked about where you can't do defensive option into aggressive option? Right? Yes. Okay. All right, dude. I have all of these up there. I mean, it's it is hard because all the like lines for Fox blur a ton, and it's very difficult to be like, yeah. oh, this is actually a different position or something. It's like they're all they all look so similar. Yeah, sometimes an aggressive position is actually a defensive position just based on, like, a slight change in the frame data, right? Yeah, like, it, it's just hard to tell. Like, sometimes you're playing a mix... You're, you're some like, And that's why it's so easy to, like, be in, play Fox and be like, oh, I'm playing a... I, I, didn't, I didn't even realize I'm playing a mix-up here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think um, the shine full hop was good, but your drift was bad. Drifting towards him doesn't accomplish anything. I drift neutral or drift away, right? Yeah, you drift neutral or away. If you drift in, this is the thing where it's like, if you full hop and realize a Marth is whiffing under you, you will never hit him. He will always neutral. just get to move first. Drift neutral or drift away. Never drift at Marth. Marth. If you drift, never. Never drift at Marth. If you drift at Marth, he will always get away first. Yeah, there's just no like it, it's not it's not that like if you drift towards him he'll get out, but it's like if you full hop and he is doing a move under you as you're full hopping, you will not be able to whiff punish it. The moves are just too fast, you know? And he his dash is too good. 
the moves he has are too fast plus dash back. L plus ratio plus fast moves plus dash back. Yeah, no, that's literally what it is. And then so here, if I had neutral drifted, I could go to the plat. I could eat, I could go to the platform. I could, and then go to the top platform. But or you could land on the top. ground. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with landing on the ground there. Just landing on the ground, you're right. Just throwing a neutral, just, just like. Like at this point, we're just using like full hop to stall and look at them, right? You're, I mean, you full hopped because you ended up in an awkward position, and you're like, I will full hop to defend myself potentially. Yeah. And then yeah. you just Bad. Yeah. want to be back on the ground because being on the ground versus Marth is good, you know? For sure. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I've been CCing Marth moves more, and I'm like, holy moly, this is so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really good. Uh, your wave shine tech skill has been pretty bad. There's, you've been getting short wave dashes. So it's like here, you got a pretty short one, so you actually just can't grab him. And then immediately oh. after, you get this drill shine, and your wave dash is too short to be able to up smash him. Uh, sure. Definitely oh, practice that. Those, yeah, those are easy, like, execution stuff to practice. Yeah. yeah. They worked out here, but it's because I don't think he moved when he had the chance. Yeah, he's yeah. actionable now. He I tries to jump. Like baffled or something and then i shouldn't have gone i did the thing again where if i had waited and like if i just instead of trying to drop shine there yeah do grab ledge calling out wall ride or whatever yeah grab ledge is fine i'm also okay with full hopping over and then full shining hopping. or just staying on stage and chilling staying like backflip shine calling out the direct up to ledge uh i mean like full hopping from stage okay, just like hopping. Your da it's like from the position you are currently in because you can't do anything about that, right? You just hit him from this position and this is the position you're in. I would probably do the dash dance you did and then on this dash in, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to full hop and then think about shining Marth up B. Or I would stay on stage and just dash dance. Or um, I would like walk up to ledge and try and like forward tilt the up B or something or down smash sure. it. So, yeah, down smash. Yeah, I, I need to think about down smash more often as well. I, I don't try to do CC down smash on that almost ever. Mm -hmm. But I, I see good boxes, spam it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, it's good if they miss execute their, like, recovery, right? Yeah. But, I mean, it's pretty hard, so. Yeah, right, because you're looking to CC the weak hit of up B, basically, is the idea, right? Sometimes it depends. Sometimes you're sitting there crouching and you're trying to do that. But other times, like this spot... I feel like you'd more be trying to, like, whiff punish the up B with down smash. So it's like, he'd up B, but you'd time your walk forward to, like, not get hit by the up B, and then you'd be able to use your down smash at max range or something, you know? For sure. Yeah. That's how I see it. Yeah. You're looking at, right, once, you've, once he's expanded, ex, ex, expanded or uh, used his, his side B resource, it becomes infinitely better. Because, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I also think... As a separate thought here, uh, it's pretty important to be really good at hitting Nair and being able to confirm it into up tilt instead of shining. Nair, Nair, like, yeah, like Nair, you're looking for Nair up tilt on like DIN, right? Just in general, honestly. Just so Nair like up tilt. This had been, if this shine had, or if this sh shine had been an up tilt after the Nair, I would have gotten like back air or another Nair or something. Yeah, you could get like up tilt nair maybe up short hop upper maybe bear maybe another nair maybe another up tilt who yeah. knows but, but you the get up moves would have extended the combo and then instead it didn't and he just got, gets back to ledge yeah okay yeah uh, i think you gave up a bit too much space for uh for ledge here i think it's because you're like the platform in it awkward but you could have stopped right here and pressured instead of going okay. back here right this is the inner lip again i, I just dash back too far so if yeah. i do like shield stop Oh no! I just go too far. Yeah, you're right. Okay, and that makes sense. I just with miss. I get a light shield and then don't shield grab him for whiffing. Good tech. Mm, bad drill. I should have stopped trying. I should have backed off after the nair, right? Yeah, probably. Oh, side B temp. Not bad. Oh, I think I'm just kind of like here. I'm like, again, reluctant to like try to interact with him over there. But you're right. I should be threatening here, right? And yeah, you could do a move at least. 
the problem here is that I'm too passive, right? Like yeah. I have a position where I'm like, right, like literally I'm in the spot, the juicy spot we've talked about, right? Like this this platform right here is like this is the sauce, right? Yeah. Okay. This so, is a pretty uh, good spot. Don't once you have this, once you have the position where you, the position we talked about avoid passive being avoid being too passive with a lead yep so what's the right mix of passive and, and aggression then like is, i guess is my question i mean it's up to you me. just kind of pick but like you can be passive here like the whole thing is that what which what with whatever side you pick you will always end up doing a move it is it will be like you will be aggressive and hit here immediately or you'll be passive and then hit at a later timing yeah so but like generally you will always pick a move yeah. here you know so eventually we're picking okay that makes sense yeah because yeah, the whole thing is that marth yeah. yeah the whole thing is that like we are attempting to like hit marth for being in the position or whatever yeah. you know because marth doesn't get doesn't have the privilege of just picking a move right he's got like a couple of op like right the the assumed thing he, he you get you knock down with fair you knock down with s mesh or you get a grab <laughs> mm -hmm. right or you knock down with nair <laughs> yeah yeah okay so if i it's like uh, that was two pa up air back air oh i that barely kills how do i play this lead probably poorly yeah who knows i but, see i think you could play it well i don't know if you win or lose but yeah I could imagine sure you playing it. Same, these three games very similarly, and it's dying to a, a tipper off the top platform. That is unlucky. This is good invincibility though. You go yeah, to top platform, I, you juke them. Nice that I'm like, hey, I have a lead. You know, I'm gonna try to play this really carefully. Yeah, and you do a great job. You juke them. You go to top plat. You delay your thing. You come down on top of them being greedy. And then I miss it. Was that it? If I drill grab, no, that's I can't. You that. yeah, you can't. This is just like awkward drill. So I. I'm okay with whatever happened. Yeah. Ooh, you stopped reacting. Um, I think the snare is fine, but you were like, ooh, I see him faring, but it's way too far. <laughs> right? It's just always gonna be like if you see a Marth doing a normal move, you will never actually be able to punish him. That like that's something that you have to like truly you internalize. You see Marth do a normal move. The, the chance the chance your your opportunity to punish that has been over has it is over yes as soon as you see Marth do a normal um the opportunity for you to try to whiff punish that is already over yeah like you have to like change the way you view uh, um that. pressuring marth uh, not pressuring marth but like hitting marth instead of it being like oh i saw marth do something i'm gonna hit him it's like i'm going to read marth doing something to hit him or i will see him do something and i have to change gears to pressure or whip on it not with punching pressure or like position change gears to pressure or position yeah okay that makes sense yeah with punishing marth is fake <laughs> his moves is, re is, is real but it's a read yeah it is much more like setup based you can't it's not like a you know you see the chic jump and you get to like dash forward to try and do something it's like nope it's, it's much is it more in the like the, the the like peach land where like because she has like fc pressure like with punishing her is pretty fake uh i think well like the frame data like makes it well i guess i'm trying to never mind you know what let's well i think the part that makes it impossible is marth isn't doing laggy move like marth doing a wave land off fair this is not a laggy action it's not a laggy uh, yeah you by the time he lands you will like i i i can count the frames but like yeah. you I would mean, not be able to tell one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve three four and fifteen you don't realize that he's falling off the platform until now yeah he has like true. four frames until he lands you know yeah it's not you're not punishing that yeah okay that makes sense you're you're so right yeah um and that's kind of what makes fair such a good move right yeah i mean yeah, that that's kind of what I mean by like if you realize Marth is doing something, you are probably too late because it's like you're not gonna realize he's down tilting and hit him. He's gonna be dashing by the time you get there. You know, yeah. you're not gonna realize he's doing a a waveland fair Marth's and try and hit him. These are the implications of Marth's disjoints, right? Yes. Okay. Also his dash back and yeah, his low lag. <laughs> I mean, it, the lag yeah. on the aerials. Yeah, it's. Oh, works out. 
Uh, oh, that was bad though. You do not get a true combo off this up smash. You have to play a mix up. There's another case where I th what we talked about before, where like I need to recognize that I'm playing a mix up and not I don't have a real confirm. Yeah, like you could go under, and like shark, which is fine. Try to shark. But you it's could. Not... You you try and like hit. You try. I, I feel like you're more trying combo than shark. Yeah. It's not a combo. Yeah, you're right. Um, I, need to, I need to dash. If I was trying to shark, I would have dashed forward already, right? Yeah, you would have dashed forward and then, like, short hop up air to here. And then maybe he fell into it. Maybe he double jumped. Um, And then, or you up smash and then you try and read him falling down immediately with a dash dance. For sure. Yeah, but instead I try to do full hop back air, which obviously doesn't combo and I get hit for it. Yeah. Okay. That running shot wasn't very good. This run because this running shine is uh bent on the assumption that he's gonna dash forward, which he doesn't, right? Yeah, I think it's more that like dashing forward here preemptively is totally fine. I'm okay with this, but you have to realize that he the way that like the dash is lined up, I think that when you start your dash, you see that he's dashing forward, but look how far he's dashing forward from. And so it's like, yeah. even he would have to dash all the way to like right here to where it would be. You have to pick the same option I'm picking for it to ever connect, right? Y yeah. I mean, it's mostly like he would have to like, it's, it's about the positioning more so than like the option. Okay. But like he would have, if he continued to dash forward that you saw when you started running forward, he would have to run all the way to right here, which doesn't make any right. sense for him to do. Never going to do that. Okay. And so then it's like his dash will probably end up somewhere here, and then it'll still be the bad dash back range for you. Right. And so then you'll always get whiff punish. So and so it's like running shine. What? What do you should I do? I just keep running forward? Do I wave dash down? I do think I... in this position, I would have thought about down tilting, just because. Yeah, I, run down tilt. yeah, yeah, I think right. because you could have seen how f where like his dash back put him the first time, yeah. put him back around right here. And so, if you decided to down tilt, you know, you'd whip punish him there. Um, I also think... Let me see. That aerial... I gotta get stop remove those, like, aerials. Panic air, recovery aerials. They're bad. Mm-hmm. It um, happens to hit him, but, like, if he... If he's... If he, like, figures out that I'm gonna do that, then it's bad news. I think it's, like, fine. It's just a mix-up. I don't necessarily see that much of an issue with it. It is against Marth kind of RNG though, because both times you actually see the RNG literally play out yeah. where it's like, Ooh, you got lucky that his Nair like didn't hit you. You hit in between. And then immediately after you do the same exact Nair, it's like, Ooh, actually his Nair went over your head. So now you get comboed. So the, I just got the first Nair only worked out because I got lucky. Then I tried to pick the same option and then it didn't work out and I lost. Yeah, I think that you have to, you can do wake up options, but you have to change like the type of options you do. Like I would be down to like up smash or something or like, wake up, up smash, wake up shine. not shine, shine isn't that great, but like definitely like up smash or like turn around up tilt or like stuff that the launchers, right? You could also just read this exact same thing by dashing back. Where instead of doing this nair, I just wait for him to dash back, then I dash back, then I dash in again. Well, it's like you. How do I, how do I, I guess the timing would be that you'd end up in this position and you'd be like, hmm, I want Marth. I'm going to hit Marth jumping forward. And instead of like turning back here out of your dash dance, you'd go, you'd like let your dash dance or your dash rock and then just like run in with punish this fair. For sure. Yeah. Like that, or not fair, in there. Like that's a thing that you could do to read this exact same option, you know? Yeah, and so it's like... Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, and the same thing says goes for here, where if you like, instead of dashing forward, you did like a tiny dash back, and then dash forward, you would be able to whiff punish the snare again. We're skipping right? a beat is the, the idea, right? You just think, I, I, I suppose you could call it beats. I just think you need to avoid the nair and whiff punish it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Keep it simple. You just need to make sure you're not getting hit and that you're hitting the nair. All right, let's see. How does this play out? I'm, I, he, he's going to grab me and bring me to the top, but let's see how it That's goes. fine. Shine, grab ledge. No, I, I gave him the ledge. That was... Well, do I need to... Yeah, let's talk about this edge guard because if I had guessed right here, I won, but I don't. I grab ledge. 
I, uh -oh. that's too rainy, right? I think honestly, I initially I would prefer to do bear here instead bear. instead of shine. Yeah. Um, but then shine. after doing the shine, there's a few things you could think about. You could think about doing dash dance short hop off shine to hit this exact side B. Interesting. Dash dance short hop. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. But that's um, only because it's in, it's like the the position of the up B is really close, right? Yeah, I mean, you could just, if he's close enough, you could always think about jumping off and shining side B. That's pretty much just it. Okay. There's, there's not much of a rush now. So you could read side B, dash dad, short hop off, or you could grab ledge at this timing. But the main thing, I don't think you can refresh because his double jump can grab ledge. So you might get ledge stolen from you. For sure. But I think you should... Old ledge for a little bit longer, and then you could either decide to drop a little bit later and then do double jump bear to read this double jump, or you could do neutral get up. Um, neutral get up if you think he's gonna drift for ledge, right? Yeah, well, bear also does that, but neutral get up's like less committal and it's fine against like if he decides to drop lower or, um, yeah, I mean, essentially drops lower side views again, and you can't really tell so. I do try to do this back air, but it's just too preempt, right? That's the one, the 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 first option you were talking about, where like I I try to catch him as he's grabbing the ledge. Uh, if I wait. Yeah. Longer. Well, you drop from ledge early, and then you also do the bear really late. Yeah. So it's like you're trying to catch him double jumping up here, but he'd never be up here, you know? It's well, just I, not like possible. I, just, I need to do the bear way earlier. Do an er like a rising bear, but drop from the ledge later. Yeah. So like, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So like, in the same way, you, you would edge guard like a certain Firefox angle that isn't covered the normal bear. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm talking about when I say that, right? E. I think so. Like, some Firefox angles aren't covered by just drop bear. You have to do like a low drop bear. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, I mean, you could just drop bear. You just have to make sure that you're dropping from ledge at the right timing. But yeah, so dropping from the ledge at the wrong timing is what cost me this game. It was that and also doing the bear at the wrong. You just do an early bear. It doesn't always do an early bear. There's no reason not to. And then you time your ledge grab. That is simply ledge just what happens. Always do early bear if you're going to ledge hop. Early bear if you're going to cover Mark with ledge hop there oh well, yeah okay yeah uh yeah i mean that sounds good i think uh the main things that went wrong were the positions where marth was falling you didn't have enough time to hit him directly so you had to play scramble um that's something that you sh should definitely be aware of the corner position um the main spacings that you want to pressure um, which would be like the inner ledge. You could do it closer, you could do it further. It doesn't really matter, but um, around there. Not too much. No, the, the, find the right balance of, of defensive and offensive like uh, moves to throw out. Yeah. Um, what else was there? Defensive. Nair up tilt. Defensive moves to throw out once you have sauce well i'll just write the sauce the so sauce you know what i'm talking about yeah um and then you what you said play what was the uh nair up tilt nair up tilt combos also wave shine length yeah get practice your wave shine combos um wave shine length. um recognize when you have when it's when you have a punish real punish versus a mix up that you have to play yeah yep 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 Real punish versus a mix up. Um, I'd say this was a very productive session. I, I I've kind of been putting this lesson off because I've been trying to like actually get better at the game on my own. But mm -hmm. these ideas are good. And the next time I come to you, I'm I'm hoping that I'm gonna have like a better sense of like. Like, like I'm gonna be focusing on like when I have when I recognizing when I actually have a combo probably mostly 
Yeah, I think that part's really important. That's, uh, that, I mean, that part is just so applicable to every character, right? Yeah. All right, um, cool. All right. Uh, all right, I guess I'll talk to you in a couple of days, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, All right, man. sounds Appreciate good. The talk. Yeah. I already know. I'll talk to you later. Sounds good, man. Peace.